here. In this video, we are going to see what are the different ways to initialize a structure variable in C. In my previous video, I explained about how to create a structure, how to declare a structure variable and how to initialize a structure variable and display it. So here, let me illustrate with a very simple example, which shows the different ways to initialize a structure variable in C programming language. Therefore, I'm going to create a structure with name employee. So here we are going to create two or three employees. So every employee must have a name. For that, I'm going to create a member whose data type is character array to store the name of the employee. So here I'm going to give 25 is the maximum size and every employee must have an employee ID. So int employee ID, then in which department the employee belongs to. For that, let us say 20. Now, we are going to create a structure variable, employee. Structure variable for employee. Let us say that that variable name is E1. For that, we have to start with the keyword struct, followed by the name of the structure employee and e1 is the name of the variable and along with the declaration we can initialize this structure variable and here in the structure we can see there are three members so structure represents a collection so if we want to initialize a structure variable along with the declaration that initialization values we have to provide within a set of braces where the set bracket represents a collection. And here we should be very careful about the order in which you are initializing the structure variable. Here we can see that the first data in structure employee or the first member in structure employee is name. So the first data which you are going to initialize must be a name for example bright then and here the second member of the employee is employee id let us say that 123 then followed by which department the employee belongs to i am going to put csc and now we are going to create one more structure variable another structure variable Let us say that E2, we can do like this, struct, employee, E2, the name for example, Andrew, 456, then some department name EC. And now we can access their values. That is very simple. So next is display the details of first employee E1. For that we can use printf statement. Printf we can say that name is percentage s. Yes. Let us give a slash in so that we'll get a new line after this. Now to access the name of the first employee through the structure variable only we can access it even dot name. Next we are going to access the employee ID. ID is percentage D new line even dot 
employee ID. Print if and here you are going to access the department percentage yes slash in even dot department. Now let us see what is the outcome. We are getting the expected output. Like this we can display the details of E1. Display the details of E2. Yeah. Even all the we have displayed. Now E2's data I am just copying and pasting the previous set of printf here e2 e2 dot employee id e2 dot department so we are getting both employees outcome so this is an another way of declaring a structure variable and initializing them there is one more way we can see that I am going to create an another structure variable for that I am going to name it as e3 here along with the structure structure declare uh, declaration we can mention that e3 so after the closing brace and before the semicolon equal we can give some set of values for example tom 3, 4, 5, department, now we can access the values of E3, so I am just pasting the previous copied print of statements, here E3, e3 dot employee id e3 dot department so here we are getting a, a expected result here the most important thing is how we are initializing when we are following this format that is along with the declaration if we want to initialize the order is very important here the first member is name then the first data which you like to initialize that must be a group of characters the second one is integer so the second data should be an integer third one is a group of characters then it must be group of characters so along with the declaration if we want to initialize the order is important okay so this is an another way to declare structure variable and initialize it hope that all of you are understood now thank you for watching this